Good afternoon, I'm Jill Sealand and I'm here with my friends Wolfgang and Andrew at the German Butcher in Lacey, New Jersey. And today, Wolfgang, what will we be doing? We'll be cutting, uh, breaking down a hindquarter. Uh, we're gonna start with the beef round and we will remove the hip bone here. It's gonna take me a minute. This is about 65 pounds. I mean, the, just the round itself. A uh, whole hind quarter, 120 to 160 pounds. Well, this this is hard to get because most meats are box meat now, and we actually this comes from from Manhattan, most likely Hunts Point. There's still some some places that that do hanging meat. Now I'm removing the shank. I cut right to the joint here. Don't ask me how I found the right spot. Well, the loin is the back section of the animal. It's how much the muscle is used. Obviously, this is a shank. That's where the leg is, where the foot is. You see that muscle, you know. That's being used a lot. This is, so that's a tough cut. If you have the fillet, for example, it's on the inside of the animal. Not the back muscle, but the inside muscle. So very little used. So it's very tender. And so it breaks, it virtually goes that way. I have to find the seam here to clear the bone, the femur bone, because we don't want to cut into the meat and ruin a good cut. Okay, now we've removed the femur bone. So far we have removed the femur bone and the hip bone and the, the leg, the shank. Now that's mostly used for shin meat, since it's tough. It needs slow cooking and the tissue has to break down slowly. So you use that for soup or you can, in some cases, uh, some fine restaurant use it for braising, slow cooking. But you have to, whatever you do, you have to cook it slow to break down the connective tissue and then it actually becomes very, very tender. All right, there's no more bones left. Now we're gonna divide it up into some primal cuts. 